Welcome. You. Hey guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to do it today. Oh, I have the deeper voice today. Oh. Hi guys. Give your room. You see who we have in the building. The one and only, ladies and gentlemen, your African queen, Nandi. <laughs> so we're here. Um, I hope you guessed it. We're not doing a shoulder workout. We're not doing an upper body workout. We're doing a glute workout. Nice. <laughs> know your players, right? Play their strongest card. So we're gonna, we can go through some glute stuff, some posterior chain stuff. So not just the glute, some lower back work, some hamstring work, a little bit of calf work as well. Um, and yeah, bust some jokes, have some fun, do some work. And then we stretch. Yes, please. Ooh. I get to take over the torture for a little bit. We stretching? We are. I get to take over the torture for a little bit. Yes, please. Get my revenge. So I'm the stiffer one. So <laughs> she will be guiding me through that and guiding you guys through that as well. So there's no chop today. We gotta come up with a, you wanna do the chop? Oh, we supposed we'll to come up with something? Okay? We'll do a kick or something. Three, two, one. I didn't know you meant so high. Wait, 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 This is me resting. That's you resting? Literally. It comes easy to some folks. Oh dear. You know? <laughs> Six, seven. We clean, we clean. We clean with it, okay. Product placement. Sports therapy one-on-one -on -one resistance bands. They are non-slip, they come in three separate resistances they also come with matching carry case so you can work out on the go you know you can be on your way to work and getting that booty working you can be at work getting that booty working you can be at lunch eating your sandwich getting that glute working make sure you can carry them around with you right so they're non-slip they last a very long time they're really well branded and my friend sells them so support you know people you know that's way Amazon and get you a sports therapy one-on-one -on -one band. Correct. The band pushing against the band, stopping our knees from coming in, is what is really gonna light up your, light up your glutes, trust me. So we're low, we're stepping through, we're trying to go through a control step. You can move with your hands or you can keep them still. We're going forwards and then we're going backwards. We're gonna go for time. So we eliminate the need to count repetitions, stay low. I'm talking to myself right now because I was a little high. I hear you say. Yeah, it's low. Again, like I said, knees pushing against the bands is what really has the glutes on fire. As you can see, them glutes is hot. Yeah, I got mindfully think about not letting my knees cave in because mm -hmm. to me, I don't want this pressure on the inside of my knees. So you gotta keep driving them out, making sure that the knees are pointing out over, the toes are straight ahead. She dropping um, gems. Wherever your range is, I guess, because I don't have a big turn out something. So yeah, and stay down. Stay down. All in the sake of glutes. Stay low. Good boxy. Push against the band. Good legs. Right then. You gotta coach yourself as you go through these. Talk to yourself now. I want a big butt and I cannot lie. So we're just moving laterally now. Again, target the quads. Quads, this is, this is, the, just to continue to wake up the glutes. Stay low, big proud chest. Try and keep that squat distance. Step, step. Let me jump in. Step, jump in, we look, so, No, 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 no. So Chad is gonna stay down here. He's making sure that his <laughs> knees are out and pointing over the toes and not caving into the what what do where they want what the band where the band wants you to go? We gotta prepare you a script. If I gotta suffer like I come. Holy right. So um, we're using the resistance of the band to keep your knees apart, staying down, feeling it in your glutes. You are pushing to that leg. Go, Chad. Go. Oh oh nah. We done. We done. It's a wrap. 
Some people call it a hip bridge, some people call it a glute bridge. Uh, I'm just going to call it a bridge for now because we don't discriminate. Um, we went through a few repetitions where we were bridging, getting used to the movement, the extension and then the flexion of the hips with no weight. And now we're loading the movement. So I just chose to use a kettlebell today. Easy handles, get yourself a bench. Try not to break your pelvis bone. And we go full hip flexion to the ceiling control back down into flexion sorry for hip extension to the ceiling that's strike three god damn it all the way down we go up we squeeze the glutes at the top and we control it back down man a bad man squeeze the glutes at the top control it back down so i'm gonna start an ebook called stroke game 101 all the way up where we teach you <laughs> how to satisfy your kettlebell mm -hmm. Part of the the, the explanation <laughs> for it. Yeah, controlled reps, really focusing on controlling your way back down, exploding up, squeezing, contracting the glutes at the top, controlling back down to start. Cool. Yeah, so placement of your weight is important. Get something that feels comfortable. Some people do this with a barbell, but just for ease of use, we're using a kettlebell today. You use a dumbbell wherever you choose. So again, we're exploding up, contracting the glute at the top, controlling back to start. Controlling back to start, multitask. Yes, we can, man. Control back down to start. So we go all the way up into hip extension at the top, making sure to squeeze the glutes. This is where we're getting the most of the contraction. Then we slowly release the contraction of the glutes as we go back down into hip flexion. So up again, squeeze at the top. You guys really squeeze like it owes you money though. It can't just be get the kettlebell up and down. Squeeze, localize that contraction. Hopefully you have that sensation. You told you to stop? I tired. I tired. Oh, my mother. <laughs> oh. Because today is a glute dominant day, posterior chain dominant day, I have just added a slight hinge to the squat. As well as the hinge, I want to show you something before I get there. I am turning out the feet. So feet placement is key to be able to work this no, slightly lateral portion of your glutes. So we're turning the feet out and we have the hinge. So regular squat, goblet squat, whatever you want to call it, holding the dumbbell in front. Those two things have been added. Feet have been turned out. Hinge, toes turned out. We squat down, we come up, hips go forward, we squeeze the glutes at the top, we keep that hinge. It's a flat back and it's a proud chest. Control, Me squeeze jumping at the top. Me. Notice that he's never standing up straight and his back is never coming to the upright position because it's still a hinge, even though he's trembling, you know, but he's still getting that glute squeeze at the top and his knees are shooting out over his toes to the outside and never caving in because you especially don't want to do that when you have weight yes, added. Please. We're going for standing good morning. Great exercise for lower back, for hamstring strength. Again, today is posterior chain work. Yes, booty work, but all of the muscles that contribute to accentuating the glutes. If you've got a tight and cinched in back and strong and built hamstrings, your butt's gonna look nice and plump, right? Pay too much attention to mine, but you're gonna look nice and plump. Let's please. What we're gonna do through here, I just wanna give you a few cues. We're standing with our feet about shoulder width. Again, turning the toes out just because we like the, the extra glute work that we get from that. And, I, so we're holding this kettlebell behind our back if you don't ha have access to a kettlebell. Adam, what was you saying? Bag of rice? Bag of potatoes. Bag of rice, bag of potatoes. Your little sister. Your little sister. Hold her upside down by her legs. Damn! Damn! Don't, don't hold her upside down by her legs. I am not liable. Adam, put a disclaimer there. Feet apart, chest proud, hinging at the hips. Soft knees, that's very important. Coming back up to the top. We want the hamstrings to do the work, right? We don't want to overload our joints. So we keep the knee nice and soft. Keep the chest proud, keep the back flat. So me and this one, this is where you could cheat and sink your hips back. I mean, not over here, so uh, Chad has extra reps to do. <laughs> but you know, 
take your weight to your heels because right now you need the counterbalance for the extra weight that you have at top as well so it's okay to get that full stretch in the length of the hamstrings as you hinge back so you can be here or slightly more extended which is going to put more tension on your hamstring but here is safer like Nandi said yeah just depends on your range and your ability for hinge and the hinge is initiating from the hip each time that little detail does help. So we have Nandi demonstrating some calf raises here like you were just talking about. You dance up there all the time. So it pays for you specifically to have strength and endurance mm -hmm. being able to keep that um, dorsiflexion. Dorsiflexion? Yeah. Dorsiflexion. So you're gonna go through a couple reps. We go up, control it back down to start. So just like we've been doing today, it's really about conscious contraction. Going up to the top, squeezing the muscle as hard as you can, the muscle in this case being the calf muscles, and then slowly releasing that contraction on the way down. So it looks like an explosive movement up, and then a controlled movement back down to start, and then an explosive movement up, and a controlled movement back down to stop. We call that a releve in dance. A releve? We call it releve. We call that an eccentric rep in, I don't know, fitness, personal for training, and stuff like that. For me, but not the strong, and let me not say that. I've had ankle injuries before, so I pay special attention in this that I'm not rolling my ankles. Like once I get to the top, I'm not rolling out or rolling in or doing anything funky. I am literally driving straight up through and straight back down. Nothing funky, guys. So we just got this. We're in a single leg Romanian deadlift or an RDL or a stiff leg deadlift really focusing on fixing up any imbalances that we may be carrying between the right and the left side. So we're doing single leg movements here. I've got her foot elevated just to bring some length to the back of her leg, going through calf, going through hamstring into glute. What it also does as well is, right? Yeah, switch legs. It concentrate is folk. Do one more for me, one more for me. It allows you to concentrate on pushing up from your heel. Right, so as she switches to the other side, I'm gonna give you a few more cues. Chest is proud, back is flat. Same as the good mornings we did today, right? We're hinging from the hip. What I will allow here and what I want, if you come around to the side a little bit for me, is more pooching back, we say here in Barbados, into your hip. You can give yourself more of a bend in that front knee as well, just to target higher up in the hamstring, if not into the glute as well. The tricep, this is really to hit you, empty the tank, um, and hit every part of that posterior chain. So we went from hamstring dominant and now we're hitting the calves. If you could sit a little lower for me, you're just using the bar for balance in terms of support. As you can see, she's pressing up onto the toes, which is just gonna work. I'm not gonna give you too much terminology, but different or differing to the straight leg calf raises. This just makes sure the entire calf gets work for the day. Simple terms, right? So she's Pressing up, controlling, squeezing the calf at the top and coming down slower and under control. Exploding up, squeezing, contracting, coming down slower and under control. So we hit the hamstrings, we hit the calves and now we're hitting the glutes. So single leg, one foot at a time. We're bridging up towards the sky, similar to how we started with the kettlebell. Trust me, this one doesn't need to be loaded. Single leg, you can feel these, especially if you go through the range of motion slow and under control. So she is exploding up, controlling down. As she goes up, hips fully extend, and she gets a glute contraction in that supporting leg, and then she controls back down to stuff. You wanted to wear shoes? Hey guys, so that was a great video. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Um, I had the lovely and the ever so talented, say your name. Nandy. Lol. Who are you? Don't feel pressured. Hi, my name is Nandy. Right then. Big up workshop. Mm -hmm. My dance classes. But today was a good little exchange of Chad torture me and then I get to t torture Chad. Stretching was rough. So make sure, help me out, hit the page out so I can get more content to you, so we can get more content to you. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your family, with your mom, with your dad, with your friends, with your dog. Everybody needs it.
fellas, you gotta get them glutes right too. So we're gonna do a little action step. Switch leg is it? Left leg back. I'll be going in three, I'm going in two, I'm going in one, go. I definitely ain't had the little two cents to add there just now. Come yeah. back, come back, come back, come back. The workouts, the stretches, the mobility, the range, um, it's been helping in terms of improving skill that was there and growing the range that can happen. So like, you know, no million dollars, like, this is nothing for me. It could do this a million times a day and not feel it, cause. And what do people ask you? Yeah, how do I get good knees? How do I get the strong knees? This is how I stay down here dancing for a right, long time. Yeah. Stretching, <laughs> mobility. Strengthening things for use later. Yes, please. Comes in handy, so get to it. It's good for you. Smaller than that, you know what I mean? I'm standing like Stylo, up in VIP while you're waiting the lie I just terrorize, most wanted cause I just blow minds no, 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 no. <sighs> Feeling great, bending knees slightly, straighten it as you straighten you will drop your hips to the ground And we bend a little, and up, hips are getting lower with each rep Uh-huh, mm-hmm 